Mike, there are photos mainly of Cleveland police officers and black residents, and their pictures taken after the two had had a conversation together. But the entire project has drawn strong criticism ever since it started after the Republican National Convention. And tonight, that criticism continued. The idea is just simply to have people meet as people and then sort of document that moment with a photograph. Side by side. Some of them did kind of candid shots, as you can see, and others did more posed shots. Men and women in blue next to black men, women and children. At least they're willing to stand next to each other. And they're, they're doing it in front of a camera, which means they know that that's going to be seen by other people. It was just an idea that Cleveland resident Al Wasco had after the Republican National Convention. He was tired of the divisiveness. That idea? Now reality, with the grand opening of this photo exhibit tonight in Ohio City. Dozens of photos of cops with community members of color on display. The snapshots taken after the two had talked at a community event. The project giving hope to some. Really just the sense of like communication that we can all get along. That everyone has a way to open up to someone else. Yet angering others. A group of silent protesters held these signs, criticizing the project's lighthearted take on such a serious social justice issue. None of the protesters agreed to talk to us. Their presence comes after a strong social media campaign against Al's idea on the project's Facebook page. But Al says he welcomes the dialogue. I think we are care about the same things, but we certainly have disagreements on how to do it. And the opportunity to learn from one another. That's kind of the point of doing things is to try and make some progress. The exhibit is also on display tomorrow afternoon with a discussion to follow. Now the project's founder says he's unsure where these photos will go after the exhibit ends tomorrow, but he says both Cleveland City Hall and the Lakewood Library are interested in displaying them. Tracy.